Hello and welcome to Empires of the Void 2 in about 3 minutes. It is a game for 2 to 5 players. It does not have a solo mode. Playing time is around 2 hours. It is a moderately complex mm. game. With their homeworlds destroyed by a relentless invader, a group of alien species heads out into the void on massive world ships. When they arrive in a previously unknown region of space, the old habits of conquest, control, and domination begin again. Only one can be the true empire of the void. Competitive. Players each represent one spacefaring race and play against each other. Role selection. One player chooses the active action for that round. Area control. Players score points by occupying planets and maintaining alliances. The empire with the most victory points at the end of the game wins. You will score twice. You score points for having alliances, occupying planets, having buildings constructed, and objective cards. In addition, you score points for every battle you win. Player turn. One person per turn selects an action from the options here. They then take that action, and all players may choose to follow that action, pay two commands to do a different action, or refresh their cards, command, and money. Let's look at each action. Move and attack. Move units from one region any distance, paying one command per region moved. Combat is simple. Roll dice as shown on your units, pick the highest one, add your unit's power together, and then play a card. Highest value wins. The losers retreat to the nearest friendly region with no losses. Research and build. Take any actions you can afford. Research costs the trade goods shown, plus power cards equal to the value shown. For example, a life form trade good and four power here. Buildings cost the sum of the money cost shown, but that cost may be reduced by adding a trade good permanently to that board. Once one type of good is chosen, only that one may be added in future. Building new things uncovers new spaces on your track and gives you the associated advantages. Buildings can go on planets, with one per region, or on your world ship, paying the power cost. Card action. Play a card from your hand and gain the associated benefit, in this case, placing influence on this world, or discard cards to attempt diplomacy. Recruit units. Pay the cost shown for the units and place them on any region you control or have units currently. You may recruit as many units as you can afford. Scavenge. Never pick this if you can avoid it. It's the only way the player choosing actions can refresh, but it makes everyone else's turn easier. Why would you like this game? 4X Games, which is explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate, are very popular on PC, and several efforts have been made to bring them to the tabletop. Many of those games require long play times. Empires of the Void 2 is a rare attempt to capture the feel of a 4X game without the long playtime. It takes the core elements of a 4X game and pushes them front and center, giving you a great sci-fi epic game in a reasonable time. Also, it's an exceptionally good looking game with wonderful artwork. The single best thing about this game is the event cards. Each one is tailored to a planet and they have colorful and important impacts on the game. The most memorable event for me was one that involved the doom of an entire world. However, while it does deliver on the 4X experience in a short time frame, it also feels less epic than some of its longer running cousins. The action selection system can cause some players headaches and analysis paralysis. For a much bigger and epic 4X game, you can't go past Twilight Imperium 4. For another 4X game with a short time frame, and a game where you can discover New Zealand and learn Haka, I recommend Conquest of Paradise.